Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about the latest episode of The Real Housewife of New Jersey, Reunion Part 2. We're back with Teresa and Melissa fighting. Teresa is accusing Melissa and her husband wanting her to go to jail. But then she basically go back into her word. You know how Teresa is. She's not the best with her words. We know that. And she said, Well, they hung out with people no, that were didn't. responsible for that happening okay. today. And he asked Dolores what she thinks. And Dolores is vehemently saying, No, she doesn't believe that Melissa and Joe are capable of such a thing. That's why I think that Teresa kind of like retracted what she said and said that she ain't that melissa and joe hang out with people that she know they don't like and i want to say that andy was sending her mad shades you were married to the person who was responsible for you going and, to jail and so far andy has been doing a great job back and forth is never ending you know they keep on fighting melissa brings in message that she said jacqueline lorita said about Teresa, and she has the text message she's chasing all the mean things that she's been saying and Teresa is not falling for it she said other things about you too so it's like they're just all efforts <laughs> then i like on rachel and Andy asked a good question, asked her how hard it is to film with a toddler and a brand new baby. She said it was very difficult. He asked her if she finally adopted a child and she said, yeah, she's finally, you know, the mother in all legality. That was really good, but then we learned something. Bluey tracked her down? Had somebody track her down. How did you find out that it was... Louis' team that had tracked I down. was told this by somebody very close to me. Someone on the cast? No. Teresa is like, I have no clue about that. I have no idea. Hmm. <laughs> Louis is like digging. He's looking for information on people. I don't know if it's true or if they're just putting it on him. Then Andy asked Jen, hey, Jennifer Aiden, why she insulted her nose. And she was like, I was just insulting her after she did something bad to me. Rachel is like, well, you were trying to go to the same plastic surgeon that did my nose to try to get to take care of your nose. And I'm like, I cannot with those ladies. Like, I can't. Like, every time there's a fight involved with Jennifer Hayden, it's not serious. The only fight I think is serious is the one Jennifer Hayden had with Margaret last season. But outside of that, Jennifer Hayden has not been serious this season like what you insult somebody nose then you want to go to the same plastic surgeon that did the nose to arrange yours and the highlight on ratio was cute i like the fact that they didn't reiterate on the fight with danielle they said they were moving on so yeah i do like rachel in real life like she's giving me i'm a good mom i love my kid there's something that she said that I really liked. I think Andy asked her why she doesn't have a nanny. And she said that she'd rather have people cleaning her house so that she can spend more time with her children. That did something to my heart. I really liked that about her, especially after she said that it was hard for her to, you know, give birth. So now seeing her in mommy mode and really enjoying those moments with her children, I like that. I think it shows quality in rachel i think as a housewife she did okay i wouldn't say get rid of her you know what i mean i think she, i think she did a good job but i was really tired of a fight with danielle but I then we have jen fessler and jackie coming in and jen fessler is looking what? she said she got nose job a facelift i think she lost some pound she is bedazzled she is like we last one of new jersey ready you know first season she came in she didn't care too much but i think that after seeing herself on tv a lot it probably wasn't easy on her and she she made some changes and she is looking good and jackie is also looking great like weight wise she's looking really good she said before she opened up last season about her issues with her weight and it's nice to see her she actually looks younger you know, I thought she looked great and it's funny because a lot of those dresses, like when you see them in the video, they look way better than the picture that we're taking. I want to say that there's definitely a difference between when you see them in the picture and when you actually see 
de vidéo. Uh, they asked Jen Fessler about the numerous things that she said, uh, especially the one of her sleeping with the soprano actor, and she was like, people were so angry at it because he died, you know, but we really did that. I didn't look like this when I was 25. It was pretty funny and stuff. Jen Fessler was the best addition. Like, she was the best addition. I wish that Andy asked her more questions about a relationship with Margaret, what she thought of Margaret during the show, like stuff like that, because I feel that if Jen Fessler is going to be a full on housewife next season, I don't think she's going to be able to be friends with Margaret. Let me all know what you think about that. And they asked Jackie how she feels about being a friend of the group. She said it wasn't very easy for her to be a friend of the group. Then she talked about the issue with, you know, her illness. And then a part of me was wondering, was she, did she make a decision to be a part of the friend of the group? Or was, was it another reason? Because my guess is that she was asked, she was asked to be a friend of the group. Um, I wish they did ask her about all the mean stuff that she said about Danielle. Like, nobody talked about that. Nobody talked about all the mean stuff that she said about Danielle and stuff like that. They did talk about the fact that she said that Margaret would be a difficult opponent or something like that. And then it became a fight between Melissa and, and Teresa. And a part of me was like, in no way, Melissa was not make sure that next season she was going to come back by pushing a fight with Teresa. Like, the both of them were doing too much. I don't even want to blame Teresa. I, I want to blame the both of them. Like, they just couldn't stop. And I'm like, man, like, if I see somebody I really cannot stand like that, I'm not talking to you. You're going to say what you want. I'm just going to ignore you. You know, I'm going to give you some type of nini leaks. Like, I'm only going to talk if I know that what I'm going to say to you is really going to hurt your feelings and, like, you, you're going to be like, KO. Then at some point, it was just a bunch of random. Yeah, it was a bunch of questions, right? It wasn't as organized. It wasn't like an highlight on this person anymore or highlight on this person anymore. He kept on asking questions. We see the guys coming in. We see that there's a clear divide in the guys. I think that the guys coming in and Rainian part three is probably going to be the most interesting part. So it's Louis on one side. I think with maybe Daniel's husband and then all the other guys are on their side and the guys are ready. Most of them are angry at Louis, especially with the fact that he talked about, you know, having a private investigator. Everybody was shaking. Everybody was angry. <laughs> and we discover a lot, you know, we can see that Frank that usually likes to be, you know, like, the middle guy, you know, is usually very nice. He's like, no, Louis has brought a lot of drama in the group. And a part of me is like, Louis didn't really bring drama in the group. I feel like Joe was not nice to Louis and their fight kind of like took over the group. Especially that y'all, if y'all know Joe for longer, you feel like Louis was a drama maker. I don't feel like Louis brought in the drama. I think Joe did. I'm going to be honest. I feel like Joe started the drama with Louis. He didn't want to stop. Apparently, Frank says that uh, his son doesn't work for Louis anymore because Louis' company is not working. So Frank is dropping all the tea. He's not happy because he said that his son called Louis several times and Louis didn't pick up the phone. So he's not happy about that. And you know, Joe is co-signing and everything. And Frank's son has a relationship with Louis and he really looked up to him. So I feel like the very least that could have been done was, you know, them talking outside of that. But hey, hey I feel like the most of the drama is going to come from the guys. But in the meantime, Andy is still doing a good job. He's asking the ladies questions, but it's just a lot of drama between Melissa and Teresa to the point that Andy got frustrated here. You're Stop. Sha, you know he was tired, but he didn't really stop them. Like, the girl kept, like, I felt bad for Eddie because he did a very, he does a very good job with the Real Housewives of New Jersey, but it seems like his authority is not even really respected like that. Them Italian girl don't care. He's still asking questions, so they ask about the rumor on that friend Laura brought in to Ter Teresa and Jennifer. He asked Jennifer why she was okay with divulging that secret when that was done to her last season. 
and Jennifer basically apologized but she didn't really give a clear answer she said she didn't do anything with it but it was clear that her and Teresa were plotting it was very clear they asked Danielle why did Danielle say it and Danielle said that well I wanted Melissa to know because I consider her a friend and that's when Jennifer Fessler was like girl you didn't have to do it on camera and then Danielle's like no I did it on the camera so that she could say no and we can move on but then Everybody feels like Teresa and Jennifer set up Danielle because they already tried to say to Melissa. Like, Teresa already said it to her brother. Melissa already knew about it, so they, they feel like Danielle was set up. But Danielle is like, no, 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 I don't think I was set up. They told me I wanted to tell, to tell Melissa I really like Melissa. I don't think I was set up. I'm not that gullible. And everybody's like, you were set up. So yeah, random question come out. They asked Margaret about her ex-husband and his children. And we learned that the ex-husband died. They talk about it. They also talk about the coffee reader scene with, <laughs> with Jennifer Aiden. And they're like the word that she was using, you know, like I think that Jennifer, you know, talked to her. And she did say that she ended up, that she talked to the lady. We learned that the coffee lead reader lady was also... Teresa's father's nurse. So basically, she knows all the drama. <laughs> I'm like, this lady cannot be serious. If you want to be a serious coffee reader, this is going to actually hurt a business more than it's going to help. You know what I mean? Because she probably knew all the drama that was going on. Anyway, she probably watches the show. And I just cannot, y'all. Jennifer, you did not succeed at that. And yeah, so they continue going back and forth. Melissa and Teresa goes back and forth. A lot comes out. Margaret talks about... Oh, my family, my child was called and, and threatened at work. Okay? Right. By Louis. And I'm like, yeah, so Louis is doing all of this, you know, and this time around, Margaret, she got the proof, so she's giving the proof to Andy. And Andy show it to Teresa, and Teresa is like, is, he's asking her, is it a, his number? And Teresa is like, yeah, that's his number. <laughs> child, at least she's not lying about that but it seems like this is a thing that is happening people be spoofing things and everything but margaret feels like those information are very private and she thinks that louis knew about it and basically that it's not a spoof that it's not a, like spam it's real right so they go back and forth about that they're all accusing louis of doing a lot of things and louis told y'all but they don't know everything about y'all <laughs> It's funny how they seem very worried. I'm not gonna lie. Like, they're very worried. Like, they, they're worried, but they're angry. I wouldn't even say worried, they're angry. They're angry about the fact that Louis did that, but I do question why he did that. It's just a show, it's not that serious. But at the same time, things have been definitely escalating with Joe and Melissa, so I don't know what they got going on in the background, but it seems like it's more than what we think. We see, you know, the guys, they're about to come and we have Enzi talking to Louis and he's trying to tell him, I don't want things to escalate, I don't want things to go violent. And Louis is like, don't worry, things are going to be fine. We see Danielle going to talk to her husband and she tells him, I got set up, I got set up. So Danielle, who was acting like, no, I wasn't set up, I wasn't set up. In the background, he's like, I got set up, I got set up. Like, Danielle is good though. I give it to her, she's playing games, but she's going to get caught. <laughs> I mean, not even that she's playing games, but you know, obviously she didn't want to look bad. She didn't want to look like she really got set up, but she did get set up in fact. But yeah, y'all, I feel like part three is going to be the most interesting part because I'm not going to lie. The gentlemen are way more interesting than their wives at the moment. The drama with Louis is something and we'll see how it's going to unfold. And for those of you that are new, hey welcome and i invite you to and for those of you that have been here with me supporting me thank you all so much and i'll see you all next week for rainian part three bye